Hey guys, let me start off by saying this is a video for the Facebook book, blah, 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 the Facebook group, My Creative Year. If you don't know what that is, it's a year long journey of art and creativity, um, encouraging you in a daily practice and hopefully, hopefully inspiring you to try some new things. Um, if you would like to join, it's in the link is in the description below. Uh, I and my co-teachers all really have a great time bringing you content on a monthly basis and inspiration hopefully on a daily basis. Um, for another, um, and this is all about where my muse is and what she's screaming at me to create right now. So for another group that I'm um, a member of, um, Art, Joy of Sharing, uh, they had a challenge for the month of June, you're all watching this in July, to create an artist trading card for the, every day for the month of June. And I moaned and groaned and whacked my head on the table and then said, okay. <laughs> and so instead of doing a card, I decided to do a coin. Now, before I moved, and for those that don't know, I moved from the state of California to the state of Oregon September last. And that was a big deal, very stressful. There was a lot of other stuff that happened all at the same time of the move because the move evidently wasn't stressful enough so the universe decided to dump other stuff on me but anyway um i at the time before the move punched out a bunch of these coin blanks the bases and some coin backs and i actually had some fronts too which i think i've used up all of almost all of them now um I punched a bunch of them out before I even moved, intending to have these at least to work on during the move to keep me from getting stressed. So that didn't happen. I didn't. I got stressed, but I never worked on these. I did other things, and I was setting up the house. So when the challenge came, I thought, you know, I've got all those coins punched out. I should just do those instead of a traditional artist trading card. And so that's what I've been doing. Now, a traditional artist trading card is two and a half inches by three and a half inches and a coin is two and a half inches across. I have a punch by EK Success that's a two and a half inch circle punch, and that's what I punch everything with. I punch a front, I punch a back, and, and I punch the, I'm sorry, I punch the middle. This is just like a base stabilizing piece of uh, mixed media paper. I punch a back, which is just printer paper, and then I punch something for the front. That could be scrapbooking paper, printer paper, um, I did one, or I've done some out of um, security envelopes, junk mail, it just depends on what's on my desk at the time. So I'm having fun doing those, and I'm collecting them and putting them in the jar. And like I said, I have been sharing them on social media. I will be doing a flip of everything in the jar with a little mini tutorial of my process for one of the coins um, in an upcoming video, so look for that. But I'm having a lot of fun creating the coins and using up the bits and pieces on my desk. If I need to dig through my, my, my ephemera bank or what I call my small bits bank for pieces because nothing on the desk is inspiring me, I do do that and it's very handy in the new art room. I can find everything. Um, but generally speaking, I pull a few things out on the table. I try to use all or most of them up. Then I pull a few more things out onto the table. And I just continue that process. And that's working really well for me. I'm also having a really hot, fun time with both the coins and the um, paper clips, really creating things that are super dimensional. Look at this one. These are things that you couldn't possibly ever do in your art journal. I do do mixed media sort of sculptural wall things every now and then, um, but this is really just a new and different way to use them up. And it's not something that has to go in a book so you have to worry about the book never closing. But at the same time, these particular ones, these are paper clips. So they could be clipped to the journal cover to decorate the cover or the spine. Um, and I'm just loving these as, you know, just little pieces of artwork. They are just wonderful. And if the lighting is a little funky, it's because it's the end of the day. And I didn't think to do this earlier in the morning. Anyway, um, I'm really having a fun time doing them and my muse is really screaming at me to continue the process. I do think that I am going to try my hand at um, tags. I don't mean an office supply store bought tag. I mean like something off of something you bought. This is one I saved that was off of a shirt or something. 
pro it says hippie chic, so it must have been a shirt. Um, and I have a bunch of these. There's a bag of these in a bin, a bag of clothing tags. And what if we did something like the paper clips? Again, I'll bring out the basket, the paper clips or the coins, but we did them on tags. And then we um, attached them all together with a ribbon or a um, binder ring or a safety pin or anything. I mean, I just, I think the possibilities are endless. And I think what I'm really enjoying is I forgot the joy of doing these little small projects. Now I do do something called, that I call grab and glue. Um, Cindy Utter really um, got me turned on to it. It's just a sort of a random collage style where you just grab bits and pieces and you glue them down. And I still do do that. But even with that, you have to be flat. It can't be dimensional. So with these, you can be as dimensional as you want to be. The coin I did yesterday, you all saw this way if you follow me on social media. Is that right way up? Yeah, it is. You all saw it this way. Whoop, where are we? There we are. You didn't see this view. Do you see how thick that is? On these coins or the paper clips, you can be as thick as you want to be. There's no rule that says you can't. So this is where my muse is at. It's really screaming at me to use up all these crazy bits and pieces to really go way out there, um, make it dimensional, make it fun, use the random crazy things, and see where that takes me. I want to encourage you all to do the same thing. And I want to see what you can do with that going forward this month. Maybe if you're in the Facebook group, you can take the daily creative words and see where you can go with that in your creations of things. I know I do daily drawings, and if you're in the Facebook group and follow me on social media, you see all my daily drawings. That's not for everybody. I realize that. But maybe creating a little coin or a paper clip or a clothing tag, um, something small, something wacky and crazy and dimensional. Maybe it's got paint. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's all glue. It doesn't matter. Um, see where you can go with that. I'd be really happy and encouraged to see your ideas on where you can go with this. Um, I think it's just a fabulous idea and it's really a great springboard to refreshing our creativity. I will be again doing a tutorial um, with a flip of all the June coins um, and I will also probably be filming a tutorial for the paper clips and probably be filming, filming one for the tags. They're all going to be similar of course process but I'll do it if you guys want me to. Anyway, I hope this gives you some idea of what you can do and where you can go with this. If your muse is screaming at you to do something wacky, maybe she's just not all crazy. And by the way, mine is even telling me not to throw these little like cut off feathers away where I cut the top off. I don't know what she wants to do with them yet, but anyway, that's it for today. If you want to follow me on social media, um, my link tree list of links and places where you can do that is in the description below along with my Etsy store and my where you can buy my book and um, all the places you can get merch with my art printed on it all that stuff and um, also the link to the Facebook group is in the description below along with my happy mail address and all that stuff so check it out don't forget to like share and subscribe and the most important thing go out and have a great day make some crazy art and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.